The LFO section allows you to add different types of movement to your samples. Maybe you want to modulate the volume of the sample over time. Or pan the sample over time. There's also the option to adjust the cutoff value of the filter section over time. Controlling the LFO section and dialing in your parameter modulation is simple. You start by selecting a wave shape, which visually represents the movement of the modulation applied over time. The easiest way to demonstrate this is by using a square wave and turning up the volume knob to 100. The sample will play back at maximum volume, minimum volume, maximum volume, minimum volume. This cycle will continue to repeat. To change the rate at which modulation occurs, you can adjust the sync rate knob. With sync mode engaged, the knob will sync to the tempo of your project and allow you to select note values. With sync mode disabled, you can select a rate in hertz. The attack knob allows you to gradually ramp up the intensity of modulation applied over time. So maybe you don't want complete silence. If you turn down the volume knob, the signal will simply reduce in level as opposed to completely cutting out. Let's listen to a different wave shape like a sine wave. There's gonna be a smooth transition from maximum volume to minimum volume. A triangle wave is somewhat similar to a sine wave, but as you can see, it won't sound quite as smooth. Let's apply some modulation to the pan position. With a triangle wave selected, you'll get a ping pong effect. With a re-trigger engaged, the modulation will reset to a value of zero every time you trigger a MIDI note. For example, the pan position of this sample will start in the middle of the stereo field every time I trigger the sample. If I want the sample to start in my right speaker instead of the middle of the stereo field, I can offset the control signal generated by the LFO using the phase knob. I'll select a value of 90 degrees, which moves the starting point of the LFO a quarter of the way through a single wave cycle. If I want the sample to start playing in my left speaker, all I need to do is select a phase value of 270, which is three quarters of the way through a wave cycle. Disabling re-trigger mode will cause the LFO to generate a continuous control signal that doesn't reset its phase when you trigger a MIDI note. There's also a rising saw shape and falling saw shape, both behaving as expected based on their wave shape diagrams. If you're looking for a little craziness, the random wave shape will behave somewhat like a square wave in the sense that it provides a step effect where the control signal maintains at different levels. 
The difference is that when you select random, you don't know what those values will be. 